In this lesson, we want to talk about an interesting and very important tool, LOD, Level of Detail. This tool is very useful that you are in a very large team with millions and tons of the polygons and you want to move your camera and recording and animation. For example, uh, the model are in the far of the camera and we don't see them we don't need to be have a very high poly and we use it this tool for that purpose i give an example with these three models this model if you turn the grout shading line as you can see we have a three different model of one model this model is high poly and you can use for when you are very close to that model the camera very close to that this is a medium poly that we are a middle far from the model and this is a very low poly of model that we are very far from the model and we do not see we don't need to very high poly model okay we use l o d okay first we have to uh Overlap the other model in one place. Okay. As I said before in the previous lesson, we reduce the polygon number with the polygon reduction. You can refer to the previous lesson to uh, understanding what is the poly polygon reduction and settings. Uh, for example, in here and the law. <clears throat> for LOD, we need just editable version of that. So we have to make them editable okay you have to make all them editable and after that you have to bring it in a uh, LOD we type M for medium poly polygon and this is the low poly of the model <coughs> L and the hierarchy of that is very important the top one must be high the middle one middle poly and the last is low you can uh, use other for example low poly models but i use three model here you can create any object that you want here in a different po po different polygons so pay attention the top one must be the high poly one and the last one must be the low poly one okay and now uh, i have to reset transform all of them to uh, set the position in the same uh, click on a middle click on a <coughs> coordination manager and reset transform and reset transform and reset transform and they are now overlap to each other click and drag them and you can position anywhere anywhere that you want and they are in the same position it's very important and after that we go going to the LOD here bringing an LOD and the LOD the first thing, thing that I want to mention you use the children because uh, we want to click and drag and make a children make a child uh, of LOD all of this object so the first uh, thing important is children and the mode of the uh, LOD it means criteria you have to set it in a screen V size you can use all of them but the most accurate and the best mode of the LOD uh, that it is from uh, camera distance it is screen V size it's very important set to this and use this mode it's very easy and simple and nice and make you LOD bar that you can control it. Okay, set those settings and after that you can click and drag and make a chart in LOD and everything is done for you. Here we have three levels, zero, one, two, high, medium, low. And it's prepared automatically for you. Now, when we are in a <clears throat> very uh, close to the camera, it shows us the low poly if we going here far from and as you can see it shows to the medium and i said uh, here i change i assign a different 
material to them the green one is a medium and the blue one is low and the dark one is the high poly and now the green means i'm in the middle and when you scroll the mouse and when the camera is far from the model it turning to the blue as you can see it's in the low poly you can change the distance here we have uh, LOD bar as you can see we have three range here in the zero to here range is for our low poly and you can see the this uh, circle it's, you cannot see it's very nice see mm, no look at this image this image as you can see we have a circle here that show us uh, our camera in this range in this distance can see we have a distance here you can uh, change it okay we change it to graph chaining to better understand for example i want to my camera in this range as you can see after that range look at this circle after we scroll zoom out our camera going to the that range and in that range we are in a level one that is a medium poly you can click and drag this range here for example i want to uh for example in this range and after that going to the low poly i don't want that i want to the range of the high poly it's more distance and as you can see after that we go into the middle polygon and after that and here I don't need any high poly and after that it's automatically going to the low poly and you can change this range here this circle is showing our camera distance uh, in this bar and here our level you can change them like this as you can see when we zoom in or zoom out it's changed level of detail of the model very nice in a display you can disable or activated the model display here you can disable or enable the uh, material here you can change the global setting uh, global shading as you can see here in the display we have a global showing display object for example between line and shading this is these settings these settings here are global it means it's changed all of the model in the software but for example in this mode i change the graph shading all for all the software but in a level one i want to show for example shading one this uh, mode change the uh, this model separately if you want to affect this model in a global mode you have up changing the global and uh, this model uh, take its order from here option of here okay and and here in a global style you can uh, if you are in a style we have a tag here i will teach you all of these tags in a, in a render we have a display tag that you can use any shading here wireframe or anything that i will teach you in next lessons don't worry but you can change it here you can change it for example the wireframe box you can change it to box and any these are display mode of the setting to global changing to the shading okay this mode is a children you can change it in the children or you can change it in the manual in a manual version you have to uh, insert insert your model here that if you have your model you can automatically go into the children and a simplify mode i will teach you now okay this is our lod as you can see it's very simple and easy i need just a high poly model i want to teach you simplify for example you don't you don't want to use polygon reduction and you want to use another method for <coughs> lod okay we bring now lod in its settings we change it to the simplify before uh, doing children of lod and in the um, criteria we change it to the size v 
in size V. Uh, as you can see in a screen size V, it's automatically uh, making a screen or bounding box around the model. Um, sorry, Control Z to show that again. As you can see, we have a screen size V here, and when the model in this screen, you can simply change it with a zoom in or zoom out of camera. Just use that mode that is very nice. You can test another mode if you want. Okay, insert another LOD here. After before that, change it to sitting in simplify. You can set it manually if you want. We have our level zero, that is this high poly. And here, going to this uh, screen size V, and in a screen size V, we have this bar that we can change it. For example, uh, I, in a simplify mode, in a level one, we have another sitting here that is, it has uh, five sitting that you can change the display of the model. The full object means that object, the original object. This is a decimate object. When you select the decimate object, you can increase its strength. And as you can see, okay, you have to change it after that. Uh, okay, um, what, this mode we have to set uh, before that. To seeing that, we have to set the this bar. Uh, I want to display explain you um, those five models, and I have five area, five range for for that. You can simply hit hold control and click and uh, make one, two, three, four, five range for that for changing camera. For example, I'm very in a near of the camera in a model one, and here I mean the software um, create us five level, and in a, each level I want to change its simplify mode. Level zero that I'm very close to the camera. Uh, it want to I want to uh, show the full object in a level one here I want to show the decimate object here if the camera is here and change it decimate as strings and in a level two for example here I want to show it the convex hall and in a level three I want to show it bounding box when I go into the range of level three. And uh, oh, sorry, but uh, I forget to make a chart this level of detail here. <laughs> make it chart in a level of detail for I forget that. And in a level four, that my camera is here, I make it to a null and nothing. When we are very close to camera, our camera is this range. In this range, we are in a level one. It display full object. When we moving at, uh, far from the camera, it decimated. We are going to the level one. Our camera in this range. You can change this range by click and drag this slide below. You can change the strength of the decimation. In a level two, when we are uh, changing the camera zoom out, we are in a convex hall. This mode is convex hall. It make a, just a hole about object. For example, when we are far from the model, we do not need to add full model and you can see a convex hall. When we going far from the camera, we are going to the level three. This is bounding box. This show, these are above just display of the objects. We are in a bounding box and if you zoom out again, we reach nothing. And the model display here, it's a null object. And you can simply change the null proper, uh, parameters. You can change the shape of the null as you want. Uh, I explain the null object and its settings. You can refer the purpose lesson. So you can, uh, I explained three main mode of the uh, level of detail. So 
The main mode is children and the best criteria of the LOD is a screen resize, make a bounding box around the model and uh, it's depending on uh, distance of the camera from the model and we need that and simply you can use LOD in any object. Don't forget that make a child your model under LOD or if you have a, several uh, different counter polygon a model you can make a child in LOD okay that's LOD definitely use that it's very useful and nice hello my friends to continue these tutorials on YouTube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release